Tyndale has been busy making filament additions. Uh, in this uh, review, I want to take a look at the NLT Thin Line Reference Edition in uh, blue. It looks like black, but it's blue. Genuine leather. And let's see, this is brushed pink leather like. Let's take a look. These are hand sized Bibles. And they have nine point font. Get these boxes out of the way. And let's just take a look. All right, here is the genuine leather. It has a little bit of a grain to it, a little pebbly green. I like the look of that. Nice minimal spine design. Silver edges with a silver ribbon with blue vinyl paste down liner. And then the brushed pink is a it's a soft pink. It's not not really not really a deep pink. A debossed design on the front that wraps around to the back. Still a little bit of a minimal design. I like that perimeter stitching on this one and this one has the, the brushed pink paper liner with gold and then a gold ribbon gold edging and gold ribbon and other than that they're identical so this has around close to around 30 gsm paper i don't know for sure it could be upper 20s i'm not really sure both are made in china and the paper itself is not that difficult to turn I haven't had any issues turning it could be a little bit more opaque, but it's not that bad. It's expected to be a little bit, have a little bit of show through at this price range and um, to be this thin. So double column, paragraph setting with translation notes under the last verse and cross references under that. Now this is a reference edition, but it doesn't have a lot of references. It also covers passages a lot of times. They're all on this side of the page. So all your cross-references, all your footnotes are over here. Nine-point font, line matching. It's a good dark font. It's not overly dark, but it, it doesn't seem like a light font. Poetic setting. So all the setting that you normally have in your NLT is here. Red letter edition. It places an asterisk on the word to show you there's a, a translation note. There's no... Uh, no keys to the cross references so you don't know that there's a cross reference you just have to look i find this text highly readable this is an easy bible to carry and hold a little bit of print variation in the red it will go to a medium to a medium dark it doesn't get too light at least in this edition that's about as light as it gets So it's not too bad. A little bit of print variation, but not too bad. In the very back, we have the Tyndale Verse Finder. And this is a topical index. So you just look up your topic. It has subtopics within that and then some, some verses with page numbers. And then a visual overview of the Bible. And this is on the thick, semi-glossy paper. Similar to maps, but it has more than maps. It has some, some graphics, some inf information. And that is, that is this. Let's take a look at the size and weight. We're looking at, let's go this way, around five and three quarter, and almost nine and one inch. The genuine leather weighs one pound six point six ounces. And the imitation weighs one pound, 4.9 ounces. And for comparison, here is the large print. Now this is a totally different setting. So it's not the same Bible, just larger. These are actually different Bibles. So let's go to Isaiah 1. Review of this one will be coming up soon. So the pagination is not the same. I can go to 578 and it will not match. 578 is in Proverbs.
and as you can see here we we have a different number of words on the line this goes all the way to son of Amos. this goes to son of so it is different but i'll zoom in so you can compare and that's how they compare What makes this a filament enabled Bible is it works with the filament app. You scan this to register the, the Bible with your app. And once it's registered, you can scan any page. Open up the app in your phone, scan the page, and then go there. And then this will give you study notes, devotionals called Reflect, and then C. And C is videos, maps, interactive maps, and uh, some in infographics. So, so let's look at study. And here are study notes from the NLT, Study Bible, and several other features. And then Reflect, it gives you lots of different devotionals that you can, that you can read for that page, for passages on that page. And it gives you what the passages are. And then it tells you what they're from. And then C, I have a slow connection out here in the, in the boondocks, but it gives you videos illustrations, interactive maps, infographics, and all this is free. Every bit of this is free. You just download the, uh, the filament app from your store. In my case, the Android, Mark, Android store. And then here's our map. Now, it is interactive, so I can select something so select something and it will give me information on it. And then illustrations. Same thing. Select something and it will give you information on it. You can zoom in. Really interesting app. It's excellent for, uh, for study and devotions. And you can um, navigate manually too if you want to just type in something and go there yourself so that's a quick look at the NLT thin line reference from Tyndale they did supply these in exchange for an honest review and you'll find more detail about these at BibleBuyingGuide.com I'll place some links in the notes where you can make a purchase if you're interested and where you can see the, the more detailed review if you have any questions let me know thanks